Hello my beautiful people. So today we are going to try the new Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer and mine is in Radiant Nude. They come in three colors. This is the middle one. So the lightest one is um, Radiant Pearl. Then you've got the Radiant Nude and I think there is Radiant Tan. And then the Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. So I was very interested in that because it's full coverage but it has fresh glow. And these are both from the Tutti Frutti collection. This foundation is in color sand. So let's see what they say about the foundation. Hydrate and brighten your Tutti Frutti complexion with this dewy gel cream foundation infused with soothing watermelons and cucumbers. It only comes in 20 colors, 20 shades. Formula leaves skin with a glowing satin finish. Okay, so it's not really luminous, just like a glowing satin. Um, helps even skin tone. Gel cream formula leaves skin ultra hydrated and brightened and it is long wearing. Now, what are they saying about the primer? Create the perfect canvas for foundation while giving skin a boost of soft focus luminosity. Basically says the same thing as he says about the foundation. <laughs> the weightless gel cream texture applies seamlessly and sets fast so you can wear alone for a dewy watermelon and cucumber infused glow or under makeup for a backlit radiance worthy of endless selfies. So yeah, you can wear this alone. It reminds me a bit of uh, the Laura Mercier primer that I use, Radiance one. Um, but I thought, you know, these are like from the same collection, so maybe they're supposed to work better together. So um, yeah, so let's try it all on. Okay, so I am going to apply on one side of my face the Do You Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer in Radiant Nude. Um, I want to do it just on one side because this is supposed to be a dewy foundation as well. So we will see if with the primer it is too dewy. So let me put primer on this side. It has quite a strong smell. I like that. I love the chocolate smell, but this it's like very fruity because obviously this is from the Tutti Frutti collection. But to me, it smells more like a artificial fruit, you know, not like a natural fragrance. Okay, and so I will apply now the foundation on this side with a sponge. Would oh, that be good color? This is in sand. So let's do this side with sponge. Yeah, it applies really nicely. Has a good coverage. I would say, because I think it says it's a full coverage. Yeah, it says it's full coverage. Mm. I would say it's a very, very good medium. Very lovely finish. Very natural and as you can see a bit luminous. So let's try this side with a brush. To me, good foundation should apply well with a sponge, with a brush, with your fingers, with whatever. So yeah. It's very good. And it's such a it blends so so easily, you know. If I have a foundation that as soon as I start applying it and it doesn't apply very well or requires a lot of work to blend it, 
that is a no-no to me. Okay. The smell is exactly the same like the smell of the primer. I am not too keen on this smell, but hopefully that just goes away. I normally love products that smell nice and um, fragrance does not bother me. It doesn't irritate my skin either, um, but it has to be a nice fragrance and this feels very artificial. Okay, so this is close up. Yeah, I like it. I don't think it looks any different on the side with the primer. Shall we do another layer just to see how it builds up? I wouldn't do another one. That would be fine. But, um, you know, for the purpose of this video, we see how it builds up. This is such a good color for me when I'm fake tanning. Yeah, it builds up okay. Maybe you have to pat it in a bit more. Yeah, it's really nice. Can you see the dewiness of it? It's very nice. Wow. That's the second foundation that I like, that I've bought. You know, I... <laughs> Not long ago, I bought all these high-end high -end foundations and I didn't have much luck with them. I didn't like many of them, if any. Um, but yeah, I like the Tarte one that I reviewed last week. It's just that that Tarte one was too light for me. And that is very important as well. When you try to judge the foundation, if the color is not too good, then it's very hard because, you know, it just doesn't look right. Okay, so I've applied my concealer and powdered under my eyes and I would not put two layers of this foundation because two looks tiny bit thick, you know, and then when I will powder it all, it might look a bit too, too thick. But um, it's a lovely finish, um, very natural, slightly luminous, and one layer was plenty for me really. I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier mineral powder. Yeah, it's very nice. It's lost all luminosity after powdering. That's why I never understand with the luminous foundations, you know, you you got to powder it, otherwise it will slide off your face. But I suppose maybe throughout the day it's not going to be really dry, but it will get a bit more luminous. Let's bronze a bit. Shall I try the new Fenty Beauty bronzer? Um, like I said, I've bought mine in a bit darker colours. I've got two. This is the lighter one of the two. This is the Private Island. Let's try this bronzer because I was so excited about it. Uh, we will see. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, the color is nice for like if you are tanned. Hmm. I like the color. But I wouldn't say it's a lovely smooth bronzer that like melts in with your skin. You know, like some bronzers just are there and become one. I don't feel this one is that blendable, if you know what I mean. 
well that's no good because I've got two of them now I would probably use it more for like contrain and that might, might be okay for that but I don't think if I bronzed all over I mean you know this is like very first impression so but like the first impression is not like oh wow what a great bronzer so I'm going to now sort of contour it you know I don't do the proper contouring I'm going now to uh, bronze all over with the Laura Geller. This is like my, oh, I love this bronzer for that glow. It, this one actually gives you glow. The Fenty Blue Beauty is matte, so it's probably good for, for contouring. Uh, this is the Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. I love this thing. So then I just bronze. I think I, in in general, I prefer baked bronzers because they are not as powdery and they like melt with your skin. I've, I've always told you, you know, baked products start their life as cream and then they are baked on the terracotta tiles into powder. So maybe that's why they are not as dry. So I prefer like mineral or baked bronzers. Okay, so now we've done that. I am pretty happy with this foundation. I always notice that really the foundation looks better in real life. Um, in these lights, it's so bright, but if I turn the lights off, then that's not a true light either. The camera makes it all very dark, so you just have to trust me when I tell you that in real life, many foundations that I review, if I say they look good in a light, in real life, they look even better. Um, yeah, I like it. But like I said, I probably would just use one layer. Um, I've got the most texture, I would say, like around here. And, um, and I would say that that exaggerates the texture a bit. But you know, again, this is looking really close up. I mean, no one ever, you know, I zoom you in and, and show you um, the texture. But to be honest, even if I zoom you in, who, who does come up that close to you with a magnifying glass and looks at your face? I'd rather look at it from a distance that someone they would stand quite close to me was talking to me and to me that looks perfect okay i'm going to go and put the rest of my makeup on and then i will come back and then we'll do check-in at the end of the day okay so i've done my makeup um i only put blush on and a highlighter and obviously i've done my eyes you will see that tutorial soon i filmed it as well um and actually has been probably hour and a half since I've done this makeup because I was filming it. So, so far the foundation looks really good. It looks just like it did when I first applied it. I really like the way it looks. So, so far so good. Um, I will come back later on like I always do and we will see if he broken up anywhere or if he stayed the same, if he's gone if it got more luminous or dry so we will see all that okay i'm back so it's almost six o'clock so i've had this foundation on for about eight hours um obviously haven't touched up i've reapplied my lipstick though because i love it it feels so good um as usual as with most foundation it has gone a bit more dewy on my forehead but you know, if I was checking throughout the day, then I would probably powder it. Now, my chin looks pretty good. It looks better than the Tarte foundation that I reviewed last. Um, let me zoom in. So my chin looks fine. There is a bit of wearing on my nose, but that is because 
when I went to O'Cloy, I think I'm getting a bit of hay fever and my nose was a bit itchy, so I was scratching it. But even that, I think it looks pretty good. It hasn't broken up anywhere. I love the colour. So yeah, very good foundation. I really like it. It held up really, really well. And also, I can't see any difference. Remember, I um, applied the Do You Primer on this side. I can't see any difference. That's why I normally tell you, I don't, don't usually use primers. I don't feel they uh, make any difference. I like using the luminous ones just because they make my skin look so nice when I first apply it. And I suppose they have always some sort of moisturizing properties, but in respect of the foundation looking better or lasting longer, I don't think it makes any difference on me anyway. Okay, my lovely. So yes, that's another really good foundation. Um, I've got another one from Too Faced, the Peach Perfect, which is like a soft matte finish. Sorry if you can hear Louis growling. He wants to go out. Um, then I'll probably review that one. I might review all the foundations that I bought. Okay, my lovelies, that's all for, for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.